Chris gives tricks back with another video and this time I'm doing a review of the Reebok Classic Nylon but before we do I just want to give a quick thank you guys to all of the subscribers that have been keeping up with my content as of lately I'm doing the best that I can to post more videos as of lately so let's just go ahead and get right into it So with the Reebok Classic Nylon that we have here, it's definitely a shoe that gives off a similar vibe to the Reebok Classic Leather in a sense that it both follows the runner silhouette theme to it. Although I believe the Classic Leather came out back in 1983, the Classic Nylon came out a year later in 1984 in some sort of a sense to help improve the performance for the shoe by giving it more of a breathable feel for runners to be able to feel whenever they're running for short distance or long distance and overall the nylon quality is definitely what stands out alone with this shoe as it's in, even in the name itself and to me personally i think this is an underrated shoe that is constantly a little bit more overlooked comparing to the classic leather where a lot of people will know about it more especially in the white colorway but i feel as though the classic nylon should also get the same respect to it as well since it has a similar like i said a similar silhouette to it although there's a little bit differences to it not just with the quality alone but also with the silhouette and i will probably just show you right now with the traction over here this is a lot more different than what you would see in a Reebok Classic Leather where it's going to have a little bit more of the traction is just going like not as uniform as you see right here. But another difference you will also see is in the height of the heel tab is a little bit more higher with the Reebok Classic Leather than say with the nylon. But overall with the nylon itself, I feel as though it's a little bit more affordable to it than say if you were to get the classic leather where I believe it's going to be $10 but now they recently raised it to $5 more with the shoe but this one is going to be around 65 bucks if I'm not mistaken probably they didn't raise it I had to double check on it but overall I definitely say this shoe is something that you should definitely rock especially if it's going to be for the summertime season as it's going to be coming up real soon and let's just go ahead and give an arm here. Alright, so after wearing the Reebok Classic Nylon on feet, my overall impressions with the shoe is that even after 30 or 40 plus years, the EVA technology still holds up in terms of the quality and comfortability itself. For casual wear use only for me personally, I would not recommend using this just solely just to run with it, just for the fact that in today's standards, there's a lot more technology that... So, passes this technology by a mile such as the nike react the adidas boost the under armor hover technology and even reebok's own zig technology that just came out as of lately but if i were to rate the shoe overall i would definitely give it a 8 out of 10 just for the fact that the silhouette is really nice it's comfortable to wear it goes along with everything that you can imagine with your outfits the only thing that I would probably raise a concern for those that plan to wear it in night is that the nylon is breathable enough to the point where if you were to wear it in the nighttime, a lot of cold air will definitely enter enter the toe box. So if, just a little bit more of a heads up that you will not probably feel present, pleasant to wear it in the nighttime use but it's not going to be enough for me personally to just not cop the shoe since it's definitely budget friendly as i mentioned before it's going to be 65 dollars for the shoe shoe 
You can even get it for under retail for the Nike, the, sorry, Reebok outlets. But not only just in the outlets itself, you can also get it in the Reebok website. You can also get it in Finish Line, if I'm mistaken, Champs, Full Locker, and also WSS, another underrated website you get it for a little bit more cheaper. But overall, Definitely say go and try to get the shoe. I personally think you should have it in your closet if you're looking to have a sneaker rotation, especially for the summer. But that will be it for the review, guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like, a subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. This is Chris Gives Tricks, and peace. Just like Houdini Then I bubble with a